Hello guys, welcome back to my channel BFRAC Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see cleanup using Smart Vector in New. So let's start the class here. So now just type imported about this footage inside new here. So before starting further work, first we have to set up our project setting. Now press S. And then simply just we can define this project setting according to our footage frame size. We need about this create 40 by 2160. So according to our footage, just we have to set this project settings here. Now just define properties one here. So after all this setting, first we have to create a motion vector file. So we have to take a smart vector node. So now just select this footage and press tab and just take a smart vector node. Then after this we have to create a motion vector file. So simply in our this smart vector parameter just we have to click on this export right. Then we have to double click and just simply just we have to define our folder where you want to save this motion vector file. So simply just we have to click and just select your folder. Then we have to give a file name. Then dot for hash we have to type. Then dot exr. So this motion vector file just we have to save in exr format. Now we have to click on save. So this file type this will automatically take exr. Then after this we have to click on render. And just we have to generate a motion vector file. So simply this is your footage range. Now just we have to click on OK. So now this will just generate a motion vector file. So now render is completed. Then after this we have to import our motion vector file which just have generated from our this smart vector. Now simply press R. Select your motion vector file. So this is our motion vector file and simply just we have to import inside new. So now here if you will select this one and press 1. So actually this is not showing anything here. Because this is actually just a motion vector file. So, so if you want to check this file then simply you have to connect with this uh, viewer then simply in our this rgba just we have to select over this motion vector so simply just we can check it here so now you can see this motion vector data here so now again select this rgba so now after this what we have to do so again just select this footage control c copy and just paste it here and just disable all these nodes here so again just select this footage press one so first we have to create a clean plate remember this one just we have to create a clean plate on our d grain plate so first you have to create your d grain plate then you have to import inside new then after this you have to create your clean plate so now just i'm going to start creating our clean plate so simply just take a roto paint node so now press p p for roto paint node and just connect with our this footage then just take a frame hold node so again press tab and just take a frame hold node and just select your frame where you want to create this clean plate here. So just I am going to create a clean plate all about this starting frame here. So simply just we have to type same frame number in this parameter fields here. So now after this we have to just double click on this roto paint node. And simply just we can take this uh, clone tool and define this hardness value 0. And define this opacity according to requirements maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.1 or 0 0.05. Then simply just we can take over this a clone tool and just simply just we can remove it here so now again select this one press one so just you can see so using this roto mate node simply just we have to create our clean plate here so simply here i have already created our clean plate so now just i am going to view it here so again simply just remove this uh, roto paint node and just take this one here and just replace this roto paint node so now just delete this one here so now if you will see so this is our main plate this one and this is our clean plate here so select this one press one so now you can see so simply just using this auto pad node just type created about this clean plate inside new then after this we have to take a copy node k and just take a roto node and simply just we have to create a shape Now select the entire shape and press E and just give some edge feather. Even just hold control and just simply just you can adjust all these feather points according to requirements here. So now just adjust it here. 
now just connect this uh, B input with our this uh, clean pad and A input just we have to connect with our this row 2 now select this one press 1 and just we have to take a pre multi node so again press tab and then take a pre multi node so now this tab is detected only this part here then after this just we have to take a merge node so press M and B input just we have to connect with our original plate and A input just we have to connect with our this pre multi so now just select this one press one so you will get this result here so now after this what we have to do so now suppose if you will move this plate so this plate actually is not following according to over this face movement here so for this what we have to do so again just go to this uh, starting frame or uh, uh, zero frame here where just we have created our clean plate here so now after this just we have to follow this clean plate according to over this uh, face movements here so for this what we have to do so just we have to take a vector distort node so again press tab and then take a vector distort node so now this little bit just create some space here so this source input just we have to connect with our this pre mult node here so simply what just i am going to do it here so just place it here and this source input just connect with our this pre mult node here and this is smart vector or motion vector file uh, just we have to connect with our this smart vector input here we just have generated from our this uh, smart vector node here then again a input just we have to connect it here so same result just we will get here so now after this suppose if you will move so this actually clean plate is just following according to our this face movement here so now this you will get this result here so simply just we have to wait because a key motion vector is little bit heavy so that's why this is just taking a little bit time here so now just we are getting this result here so now you can see so this plate is just following according to our this face movement here even now suppose if you will select this vector distort node now press one so now again just we have to check so again select this one and press one so this one and after this vector distort so just i am getting so now just I'm getting this yield here. So little bit suppose if you want to smooth all these uh, deformations here. So for this what we can do. So simply just double click on this uh, vector distort node. Then you can adjust this blast size. So this will little bit smooth this uh, deformations here. So now just adjust this value here. So now you can see this is smoothness here so according to requirement just you can also adjust this uh, blast size value here so now again just select this one and press one here so now just i'm getting this result here so simply just you can see so first here just save our project here because this is a little bit heavy here so maybe this can crash so just save over this project and just give a name now just click on this save here so now after we just simply just we have to play and just we have to check our result here so now just i am getting this result here so now here if you will move this play head here so now here you will get this actually uh, some uh, great problem here so this is not matching with our skins so for this what we have to do so simply just we can just take a grade node and just we can connect after this uh, vector distort node and just we have to match in our all frames here so for this simply just take a grade node now press g and just connect after this one here and double click here and just go to this starting frame here on which frame just we have created your clean plate here so now in this frame this is just matching here so simply just you can see all these things here now just double click here then simply just we have to animate this gain here now simply just right click and just set key here and just we have to animate this gain value here so now just i'm going to try to match it here so simply add frame 0 this is uh, looking good here then go to maybe frame 20 or 30 and just we have to check if there is any changement then we have to adjust all these value here maybe i think a little bit visible here so simply just so again just go to maybe frame 10 so maybe i think at this frame this is just looking good here so what we can do so at frame 10 just we have to create a hold key here so then simply right click and just set key then go to maybe frame 20 or 15 so now just we have to match all these things here so simply just we can adjust this value so maybe i think this is just matching here 
even if want you can just uh, click on this four and just you can adjust all these individual channels value here maybe first we have to adjust in red channel this the grade value then in green then in blue channel so this will little bit do precise work while you are matching this grade here so with the help of all these parameters simply just we can match properly this grade according to our this footage here then again just click on this maybe frame 30 so just we have to try to match in all frames so now suppose here if you want to match in channel by channels this grade value then we have to press r and simply just we have to check in this red channel and just only just we have to adjust this red channels value here so if you are getting any differences here so maybe so according to your just simply just you can click and just middle mouse button scroll and just you can match it here now press g g for green channel so just little bit you can see it here so in all channels just we have to match it here now this is looking good here now again press b so now we are inside over this uh, r so same way just we have to adjust for all these frames here so now just we have to check at frame maybe 50 I think this is looking good here then simply just you can set this key here then go to other frame and simply just we have to adjust to match all your frames here so guys here i have already adjusted all these frames here so now just i am going to replace this grade node here so now just connect it here so maybe until frame 100 i think just i have adjusted all these grade value here so simply just you can double click and just you can see all these keys here so like this just you can adjust all these value in channel by channel and just simply just you can match this plate with your footage here so now this is looking good here so simply just we can play and just check our result here so now this is our result so this is a little bit heavy so this is not playing in real time inside this new key here so guys same age if you want you can just also just create a clean plate for this uh, a second text here whichever this one here and just simply just you can remove this text also from our this face here so then finally you have to reapply our grain on our this clean plate area here so now guys finally just i'm going to show you our final output here after removing all this text here so simply this is our final output here so now just simply just we can play so this is our final output here after removing all these things here so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel so thanks for watching